Hello guys, welcome back to Scry Guys. My name is Quest, and today we are going to talk about one of the pre-con for Modern Horizon 3, and it is Uliak Diffuse Atrocity with a $200 upgrades um, deck tech here, and uh, I'm very excited to go through this. Um, this guy is pretty powerful, and uh, if you consider liking and commenting what is um, your favorite part of the deck tech, is it right up your alley, or is there something other budget that you want to see on this channel? And uh, definitely subscribe too, uh, and click that notification button, and uh, you'll get notifications every week when we post deck text or EDH talks about magic, EDH, whatever. Uh, but yeah, let's just get right into it. So, what do we have here? So the commander, Uliak Future Atrocity for uh, five waste or five of every color. Legendary creature Eldrazi Devoid, and whenever you cast an Eldrazi spell, you may pay two waste if you do copy all spells you control then copy all other activated and trigger abilities you control you may choose new targets for the copies which is really good <laughs> um very busted ability uh just for two and it is a five mana and it's a two five as well but it is a really powerful commander and it is a nice build around as well um, but it's really nice to finally get a nice five color for all Drawsies. Like, we always get, like, colorless. It's like, all right, well, here's for the colors plan. But now with this set, we finally got some Devoid colors, which is amazing. So let's get right into it. So let's talk about the 33 creatures we have in here. So we have, oh, I realize my, uh, let me move this guy down. There we go. Much better. Okay. Um, so we've got Arjun, Koslect, uh, Azlask. The Swelling Scourge, which is one new card uh, with the Brecon, so whenever Azalek the Swelling Scourge or another colorless creature you control dies, you get Experience Counter. Interesting, we're getting back those. And then for five of every color, creature you control get plus X plus X, where X is the number of Experience Counters you have. Uh, Scions and Spawns you control gain Indestructible and Annihilator 1, and it's a 2-2, two -two, which is really disgusting. Like, I like the fact that you don't even need Scions. You could just pump everything up and swing. But if you do have Scions or Spawns, they will just get Nihilar 1 and Indestructible. Really dumb. Really dumb ability there. And then we have Bird to Paradise because it is, this is a uh, five-color deck. And we need some type of uh, mana fixing. I think that's the only uh, non-Eldrogic creature I just put in here just because, like, it's a reliable creature but we do have a lot of ramp in here a lot of color fixing so i don't think it's that bad of a card in here but you could definitely take it out for something else if you have something else in mind so breaker of creation one of the new modern Rider three cards so whenever you cast uh when you cast a spell you gain one life for each colorless permit you control and x proof from each color and has nine letter two and it's eight four for eight mana Pretty good card for the ability. You just gain a lot of life if you uh, with U Uliak. Uh, you just copy that ability, you gain so much life because everything on your board is going to be colorless. Uh, except for Bird to Paradise, but it's a really strong card. Um, but yeah, let's go to Condo of Ruin, one of uh, the OGs from... Uh, not not an OG, but from Battle for Zenon card. Really good card. Uh, Decimator of Provenance, a really sweet uh, Credit Hoof Eldrazi, or somewhat of a Credit Hoof. Uh, Deep Phantom Skulker, uh, Drowner of Hope, and Eldrazi Displacer. Just really sweet value uh, Eldrazi's here, guys. Um, all under budget, too. Um, but yeah, we got Eldrazi Linebreaker, which is one new card here. For a waste and a red and one colorless, trample. At the beginning of combat on your turn, target your creature you control, get plus, or uh, gain taste and plus X plus O, till the end of turn where X is the number of Eldrazi's you control. Really powerful card really disgusting um i could definitely see this card as being like a threat on site just because like you're having like this deck will create a lot of eldrazi's with the spawns with the scions seem pretty disgusting eldrazi mimic i remember this card back in Oath of gatewatch when it, when i Ugin was around this card was pretty disgusting <laughs> and then we got eldrazi obligator uh and bringer and then uh, glaring flesh uh, raker, which is one new card here. So when, whenever you cast a color spell, create a zero one Eldrazi spawn creature token, and uh, whenever another uh, color creature enters the battlefield under your control, deal one damage to each opponent. Really good, really good ability. Um, the fact that you get to make um, <clears throat> uh, s spawns uh, with this uh, whenever you cast a color spell, it's really good. It triggered off artifacts, which I love. So really nice card. 
Herald of Coslect, uh, Hideous Taskmaster. Another one of the new cards from the pre-con, so Hideous Taskmaster. Uh, when you cast a spell for each opponent, gain control to one target creature that player control until the end of turn. On top of the creature, they gain uh, Trample, Haste, and Annihilator 1 until the end of turn. And it self has Trample, Haste, Annihilator 1, and it's a 7-2. Really good card for finishers. If you're like, alright, um, with uh, Azlak, uh, activate it, all your creatures get a buff, and then all your Scions get Annihilator 1, and you just swing out at the most threatening player, and then everything else just uh very disgusting so hope enter coddle so this card i put in here just because of the one ability here um it has flash so when you cast a spell counter target spell in opponent controls unless they pay one this card could be really sweet um uh, because some people some people don't consider counters and they'll draw these i mean that's a five color but who gonna play like a counter spell who gonna play any of that right um, with this, like, if your opponent casts, like, your their commander for turn of their tapped out, you flash this guy in, and they can't pay the one, and their commander is back in the command zone, and you just got yourself a 2-2 flyer. So, this card's pretty cool. Uh, Drowsy Snake. I really like it. I think it's, you could definitely take out this, um, but I just think it's gimmicky and fun. If that herald the end, or herald the end, this card uh, was swallowed a while ago. So, color spells uh, you cast uh, with a uh, mana value 7 or greater cost 1 less to cast other colorless creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1. It has a really good 2 for 1. It also had a reduction for 7 or greater uh, Eldrazi in your hand, but also it's a lord itself for colorless creatures. So, all your colorless creatures are going to be pumped with plus 1 plus 1. And it's a 2 2 as well. And it's 2 mana. So, I really like it. And it seems good in deck. And here we are. We have Codlick the Great Distortion. Um, Null Drifter, ooh, this one's uh, pretty cool. So, when you cast a spell, draw two cards and have flying and Nihilator one, and then have to evoke like Null Drifter, and it's a 4 4. So, pr pr pretty self explanatory. It's a re really nice card. Oblivion Sower, uh, Propagator Drum, which is another new card. Uh, Creature Token Control have Evolve, which is really nice, and then has a uh, green and a three, uh, pay green and three colors, create a zero one spawn token. Um, pretty good. Uh, for a 2 2, and then for late game, you create a bunch of spawn tokens. It doesn't require you to tap it at all. There are no restrictions on that, so you could create a bunch of spawn tokens, and that's pretty good. Desire of Stagnation. So, whenever a land enters battlefield under your opponent's control, that player exiles the top two cards of his or her library, and you draw two cards. This card is pretty cool. I, I've been waiting for someone, like a deck, to really utilize it, except for like a blue black deck, but now we'll draw the tribal. Here we are with five color, five color Aldrazi's, and you get to have your place. You're welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, really nice card. Um, Skittering uh, Cicada uh, from the Commander Masters. There's a lot of Commander Masters uh, cards in here because it fits in the uh, five color Aldrazi deck, so there are going to be some in here. Uh, Snapping Voidcraw, another new one. So it's uh, Simic and one colorless. Uh, just tap and add two colorless, and then uh, tap four and a, and a color, or tap three and a colorless draw a card, and it's a one three. So it's just a little, just small ramp. Uh, and it's a draw D, so it seems pretty good in here for two mana. Uh, so you don't play the uh, one mirror, I forgot what it was, it's like three mana add two. It's basically the same thing, but you get a draw on this guy, so it seems nice. Sewing um, Miskos, uh, Myco Spawn uh, for one green, three colorless. Uh, hatch kicker. So when you cast this spell, search a library for a land card, put it onto battlefield, uh, then shuffle. Nice ramp ability. And then for the kicker, when you cast a spell, uh, if it will kick, exile target land, and there's a 3 3. So that's a pretty nice. Um, you could definitely take out a uh, guy's cradle, um, field of dead, or whatever you want to do with the, the kicker. But the searching for a land is pretty nice for for, for Eldrazi's. And there's not that much ramp on Eldrazi creatures, but now we do. So pretty nice. Spawn Bed Protector, another comp from this pre-con. So, at the beginning of your end step, return up to one target Eldrazi card from your graveyard to your hand, and then create uh, two 1-1 one, one Eldrazi Scion creature tokens. And it's a 6-8. Wow, this card is pretty good. Um, you get to create Eldrazi, Eldrazi Scion and return Eldrazi from your graveyard. Seems pretty good, uh, in my opinion. And it is... Um, and the pre-con, so you don't need to buy it at all, since it is uh, running around like $21 for 
But if you guys are getting pre-con, you are all set with some cards that come with the pre-con. There's a lot in here. And then the rest is like under like 200 bucks. So I don't think you guys are going to come or uh, run into any trouble on the budget here. So let's move on. Thief of, of Existence. So a green colorless and a one, uh, one uh, whatever. Um, whenever or when you cast a spell, exile to one target non creature, non land permit, and opponent controls mana value four or less. If you do, Thief of Existence gains. When this creature leaves the battlefield, target opponent draws a card. Seems pretty good. Uh, you get to get rid of a Rhystic Study, um, a Smothering Tithe, uh, Mana Crabs, just get rid of a non creature, uh, non land permit, which is really nice. So. Really like this card. I think this card's definitely going to be really good in the type of deck. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't go up too much up since some of the Mon Hard to three cards are speculative on the price. Um, I'll definitely talk about that toward the end of the video, but for right now, they are in this version. So, we got Titan's Vanguard, which is another card. So, when you cast a spell, and whenever Titan Vanguard attacks, but won't counter on each colorless creature you control, and has trample, which is really good. Another Lord type effect here. Um, yeah, I, I like it. I like the art. I would definitely love the uh, art artist uh, for some of the cards. It definitely looks like a Dark Souls boss type of thing. Uh, Twins of Discord, another new card here. Uh, whenever you attack, choose odd or even creature, creatures with mana value that uh, quali that quality uh, of that qual oh of that geez I can't speak English uh, of that quality can't block this turn, and then each colorless creature you control had Bloodthirst too, which is a very interesting um, ability for a two end of Discord. A bit ability for all draws as well. Um, but an 8-6 seemed pretty nice. Really, really fits in here. And then we got Wastegape Battle Mage. Another new card from Modern Rhino 3. So I had Kicker Green and or one colorless and one blue. So uh, when you cast a spell, if it was uh, kicked with green, XL target artifact or champion opponent controls. And if it were kicked with a blue, Nicholas, return target creature opponent control to the owner's hand. Really nice removal right there. That is sweet. For five mana, you get rid of, you get like nice two for one for five. I mean, for five mana, but you get a creature, you get an exile artifact enchantment, and you get a bounce a threat, which is really nice. This is that's a sweet card here. And then we got World Breaker. Um, that's an OG. I'll take a watch card. Um, and then we got Withering. Um, Suck. Cyrith Sailless? Uh, I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. Um, when you cast a spell, create two zero, uh, zero one colors uh, spawn tokens, and then whenever you sacrifice another Eldraji, put one one counter on Wither. Seemed pretty good. You could definitely take this one out for something else. I did put it in here because it seemed fine. You could get to create two Scions. Um, you, you did get three things, this, and then the two scions, and then you have ability, and it gets big, and it has reach, so that's why it's in here. But those are all the creatures here, so let's look at the artifacts. So we're playing ten artifacts here. All mana, um, artifacts, so Archaic Signet, Chromatic Lantern, Fell Resorn, Forsaken Monument, Soul Ring, uh, Talisman of Conviction, Talisman of Creativity, Talisman of Curiosity, and Talisman of, Hi of Hierarchy. And then also Talisman of Resil uh, Resilience, so... All pretty good. You could definitely change it up uh, for sure with some of these. Like, I just put in, like, the major ones that you'll need. Like, Soul Ring, Chromatic Lantern, Arcane Signal, Power Storm, and then just these because they produce waste. So, seem pretty nice. And then Forsaken Monument. You can't play a Eldrazi deck without Forsaken Monument. So, all right. We are playing nine instants. These nine instants are uh, abs Abstruse uh, Apparition, which is one new card here, which I realize it's really good so it is or job to colorless instant and then exile target non-land uh permit you may cast that card uh for as long as the remaining exile and you may spend colorless mana as though it were mana of any color to cast that spell which is really good um you get to take whatever you want on your opponent's side you get to just well what's like a oppressive threat that you could get rid of um on an opponent's board i'm trying to think or even, like, uh, artifact enchantments or anything like that, really. Like, it could get rid of, like, um, let's see here. What's, like, a threatening card that I run? Could we get rid of, like, Oko? <laughs> just cast the Oko, start Okoing people. Um, just, I can't think of anything on my head right now. But, like, this card is pretty strong. I really like it, so. Uh, goes in the list. Um, 
and then Desecrate Reality, uh, Hero Intervention, and then Cosmic Command, which is another new card from Modern Ryan 3. So two colorless and X. So choose two. Target player create X zero one one colorless so draws you spawns. Target player scries X and draws a card. Exile target creature with mana value X or less. And then exile to X cards from your gra from graveyards. Really nice, really nice command here. And it is instant. And the only part that we care about is probably just sigh on one and then probably like draw a card maybe. And then the other two are situational. So really like it. Null Elemental Blast. So really sweet counter spell here. Uh, counter target multicolor spell or destroy target multicolor permanent. Really good for one mana removals. And with all these multicolor commanders out, you could definitely run this. Uh, and then we're playing Path to Exile, Return to Wild Speaker, Sword to Plowshare, and then Warping Whale. All really nice cards for this deck. And we are playing six sorceries here. Six sorceries are all this dust. Uh, Distant Melody, Far Seek Nature's Lord, Risk of Expertise, and Sylvan Scrying. Just a little bit ramp here. Um, really like this card, just drawing a bunch of cards and then just a nice board wipe since everything is colorless on your board. Except for that Bird of Paradise. <laughs> Uh, then you got some draws with uh, Return to Wild Speaker and Risk Guard Expertise. You got, you got nice, nice synergies. You got nice draws. You're definitely not going to like run into like a, a wall, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're running as well as six enchantments. Uh, Awakening Zone from Beyond Gurukh's Uprising. And two new cards here, which is Kodlik Unsealing. So whenever you catch a creature spell with mana value, four, five, or six, create two. Zero one Eldrazi spawns, uh, and then whenever you cast a creature spell with seven mana or greater, draw three cards. Really disgusting. Um, this card might be really good in Affinity in Modern. Um, now I'm realizing it just because, like, you you definitely have a lot of uh, because it doesn't say Eldrazi spells, just say creature with seven mana, seven or greater. Because with some of the Affinity cards, you could definitely get like a seven seven or of seven mana cost. Uh, with the Finny on it, and it only costs you one mana, and you draw three cards, and it's just gross. So, Path of Annihilation. So, uh, when Path of Annihilation on the battlefield, create two uh, spawn tokens. And then Eldrazi Control, have uh, tap it, add one mana of any color. And then whenever you cast a creature spell set mana greater, you gain support life. Really good. Really good. So, all these life gain stuff is really important in this deck, because we are playing, we are playing some pain lands. Um, so we'll, we'll get in that here in a minute and we'll play with them with a while to make sure all draw these are not countered and then we can choose them to come in with a one more counter or haste depending on the situation that we're in and 35 lands so we're playing uh, our dark our dark our uh, waste alchemist refuse battlefield forge brush land uh, canopy vista uh, cascading uh, contracts uh, Caves of Kalos, Cinder Glade, Command Tower. Um, so like I said, we're playing a lot of Pain Lands um, where we do need some life gain in this deck to make it work. But all the Pain Lands aren't in here just because they produce a waste, specifically. So it really helps out here. <coughs> oh, did I put two Command Towers? I did. Oh, well. Um, no other command tower. So we're playing Corrupted Crossroads, Eldrazi Temple Forest. One, so all the basics are one. So we are all playing one basic of every type in here. Indotha's Trium, uh, Island, Carpalus Forest, Ketra's Trium, Lighter Waste. Oh, I did it again. Oh, well. Uh, Mountain Plains, Rogren Trium, uh, Sanctum of Ugin, Scavenger Grounds, Seven Reef, Shrine of the Forsaken Gods, Sulphur Springs. Oh, I <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Swamp, Tangle, uh, Islet, The World Tree, Tomb of the Spirit Dragon, Underground River, Urge's Mine, Urge's Power Plant, Urge's Tower, and last but not least, Yavimea Coast. <clears throat> so those are land for like a budget. Um, definitely want to try to like get some triumphs in there, which you definitely did see with the three or two. I believe it's just a two or three. Oh no, it's just a three, so... It would make um, Nature Claim and uh, Three Vigits work in the deck. Um, and Farseek as well. Just to fix your mana a bit. Because this deck is 5 color. And it is on a budget. So I definitely want to try. But this is the price with the upgrades. It's $202 uh, with the upgrades. But without the upgrades it's like $330. But like the prices for this pre-con is a little iffy. Um, I will like going through. Um, 
with, with some of the cards because like Monterey 3, it's not out yet and the prices are going to vary as well as the pre-con prices, they're just going to vary. So it's really up to you how you want to build it. And if you do get the pre-con, you're all set. Just say you got to get the, some of the Modern Horizon cards. Which uh, some of them are going to probably be cheap depending on if they're going to be played or not. So we will definitely see in the future with this deck. But I definitely have fun uh, making this. Definitely stay tuned for the other pre-con, which is the Semic one, the uh, shape-shifting one, uh, Omen. Oh, I think it's Obo or... I forgot her name. Um, but that one's definitely going to come out on Wednesday, guys. Or not Wednesday, Thursday. So definitely stay tuned for that deck list with upgrades as well. I know what I'm going to do with it, and it's going to be definitely exciting for you guys to watch. Um, but here... Here you guys go. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, definitely hit that uh, notification button. It means a lot to me and Barry when you guys do. It makes us uh, want to make more video for you guys. And hopefully soon we get to do this full time. But that won't be for a while now. But uh, yeah, I'm, I really enjoy this set. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of weird cards in Modern Horizon 3. Definitely not like the crazy Modern Horizon 3. Not like uh, Modern Horizons 2. That was a buses set uh, but this set definitely has a lot of insane cards but you can definitely change the budget of this deck and make it into a really powerful high casual commander which if you got definitely want to see the high casual commander um let's get 15 likes let's get 15 likes definitely smash that like button um but yeah i think i'm gonna get out of here this has been quest and thank you for watching scry guys see you guys later